Hello everyone and welcome to another walkthrough of a journal by Claudia from We're Just Two Sisters. This is the third journal in the series of the African American journals. This one is called Believe. Um, it is 164 pages and over 80 uh, different elements or embellishments. So I can't wait to show it to you. I'm really proud of it. And I'm going to show you first that it is five and a half, a little more than five and a half um, by eight and three quarters. Um, so it's a relatively large journal. It is made from a vintage hardback book. So it's very sturdy. Um, and of course it has a, a nice size spine that's covered with some very vintage cloth. It's about an inch and a quarter spine, which means that it has, you know, lots of stuff inside, as you can see. Um, it has two signatures that are sewn in, um, and it's extremely sturdy and will last for a lifetime. So I can't wait to show you the inside. I love this series. This is, again, the third in a series of Harmony, Hope, Believe, and Inspire. And I hope that these journals do just that. They inspire you to either have a journal or make your own um, or... Um, you know, share with other people. So um, this one has a beautiful vintage photograph on the top that is covered by a um, vintage frame that comes in those Victorian photo albums. Uh, it has a lovely little embellishment here. It has a dangle um, that's made out of some old uh, costume jewelry that's attached to the lace with a little bulb um, clip. And this journal is held together with a really pretty ribbon that's long enough for you to expand even on what's there now. And it goes all the way around, so it's extremely sturdy, and it is held together um, with a button. And so let's go inside and check it out. So this journal is very whimsical. It's very colorful. Um, it's, you know, the, th the four journals that I recently made are very different in the fact that some are very um, dark, some are very um, grungy, if you will. Others are very bright and cheerful and light. And although this one definitely has a vintage feel to it, it uh, uses more pastel colors and more um, lighter lighter pages. So let's get started. So on the very first page is this really pretty belly band. And this belly band is made out of embossed aluminum foil um, glued to cardboard. So it's super sturdy. It's not gonna come undone. It's um, embellished with a couple of really cool buttons and it holds this little portfolio. And this portfolio, when you open up the ribbon, you can see that the front page has this really cool picture. It has a rusted letter that's the letter I. It says, you are important. And when you open it up, it has a little pocket here that holds a tag, two tickets. It has a, glu a glued on tag that says, true colors revealed drop by drop. It has a, a envelope side here that contains this uh, wonderful card to write some journaling on. And on the back of it is an old um, advertisement, Women Who Make Sense, um, embellished by a photograph and some vintage black lace. And you could put whatever you would like in this little envelope. On the other side of this is a repair tag, along with this uh, wonderful picture that I just loved and I like that they have like three different um, power and prayer and peace, I think is what that might mean. Um, and I really love it. So anyway, this is easy to just tie back up, ties in a bow right here. And I'm gonna set these things aside so that you can get a glimpse into the number of embellishments at the end. This is really pretty um, kind of um, chromey, uh, metallic, um, glimpse of uh, butterflies. This next page is um, a beautiful lady um, that is adorned on the back by some music, old vintage music sheets. It says via airmail um, and it says she was herself again. So I've used this old vintage uh, music 
uh, where you are, I think of where you are. And, and I think the song was only about kind of wanting to be where she was. This next page has a little clip on the side here with some uh, lovely whimsical yarn. When the clip comes open, uh, this postcard, vintage postcard comes out. I make these myself and uh, I, this one is embossed and it has um, a really pretty saying on here. And then on the back, it's a little story, um, a, a letter written on the postcard. And I write these myself. So they're, you know, kind of fun to make up a little story. This one says, Dear Friend, this card is just to let you know that I think of you often and hope that uh, you are well and happy. Your friend forever, Irene. And it's to Miss Emmeline Hart in Vance, Michigan. So those are fun to kind of make up yourself. Um, you know, these old vintage postcards are kind of few and far in between these days. And if you do find them, they're, they're pretty expensive. So I really have a good time and enjoy making my own. This journal, as with all of them, has a significant amount of journaling pages. So there's lots of writing space, lots of places for you to tell your story. This next page is a, a really... Uh, interesting pocket. I love the green contrast with the old. Um, it has a tag here of a little girl um, and this looks like a um, a punch ticket for January, February, March and, and numbers and on the back is again a, a space for journaling. I'm going to set that aside. Um, this also has a photo um, little uh, card in it. I think this lady is just so regal and beautiful looking and on the back is a really wonderful depiction with butterflies, an old vintage advertisement from a literary digest and then the mushrooms that kind of bring that pop of color as a ticket. I'll leave that in there so that it doesn't get lost and um, this is sewn um, is all the way around but it has a pocket at the top and it has a pocket here. This next pocket um, is full of wonderful things. And this includes this really great card here with the butterflies, has this uh, lovely charm on it. In addition, it has this fine gentleman, an old love letter and a ticket stub, which is a bus ticket. And you know, like as always, all of these things can pretty much tell a story. And I love all the different elements of this, all the different colors that go together. And here's a corner pocket that has this um, really cute little tiny tag slips right in there and then it has this beautiful old rendition of a, of a vintage postcard wildflowers of america and i've used a stamp to just kind of stamp on the back of that some really pretty uh, textures and a variety of different kinds of paper there's art paper there's ribbon there's lace there is uh, borders and embellishments old invoices uh, my own coffee, tea, and stencil dyed papers. It also has um, a variety of uh, uh, different vintage elements, including photographs, um, you know, cutouts from old books. His eyes were bright. This is a pocket that has um, some really great little um, doodads attached to it. This is a, a tag. I kind of thought that went. His eyes were bright. Such adorable little kids with um, an old uh, piece of a magazine that actually has uh, advertisements on it from the kind of the want ads. Move this down just a little bit there. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm going to leave that little tiny tag in there because I don't, again, want it to get lost. And this has some lace on the side. I really liked this art paper with the country kind of gardening theme with the bluebirds. And here's our very beautiful blingy uh, photo pocket that has this lovely lady in it. Um, and on the back, it has this really pretty kind of paisley paper. 
This slips right down in here. And again, this has some, you know, nice shiny bling, some very old vintage uh, lace that's uh, attached to the page. Lots of room for you to do your own thing, to write, to journal, to create your own ideas, your own pockets, um, your own embellishments, and just make continue to make this your own. So I purposefully have left a lot of these um, blank for that purpose. Uh, this is a, a wonderful pocket with some old vintage wrapping paper. It has some fun elements with a, a Grand Avenue line, a trip ticket, um, a tag, and each of these little collections of things um, could very well tell a little story. And again, here's a place for you to write down and talk about an experience that you've had or that someone that you know has had um, that kind of goes along the same theme as some of these collections of elements. I've also had a couple of folks tell me that they have purchased journals specifically for the purpose of interviewing their relatives. And I think that's just an amazingly wonderful idea. Whether you record it and then go back and write it in, or you could always type it out, uh, use a really pretty font, cut it out and then paste it on. But you know, imagine if you, if you interviewed your great aunt and you ask her a, to tell you a story about a time in her life and, um, and then you gave it a title and then have it, had it adorn some of these pages of this journal. I think that would just be such an incredible keepsake, you know, that would last and be cherished for just generations. So this is the center of this first signature. Um, and it's kind of a unique page on the two outer lying pages is some very old vintage stationery, some elements of vintage sheet music that kind of go along the bottom. And then this page that I've folded uniquely to just hold all of these little things. So this little pocket here holds tickets. When you put the tickets in, it helps to hold in the top piece. And this is a, and the top piece is a, is a card. The card um, just has 1909 um, with this vintage um, lacy boot. And on the back is this lovely lady with some snippets of cloth and an old um, buggy that you could actually buy for $36.50. Now you can't even put gas in your buggy for $36.50. But anyway, times have changed. So again, those can go in there. Um, this can slide right up in there and and as I've said in a lot of my videos the things that I put in here are basically just for an example of where things could go I mean I've kind of had an idea of where I wanted things to be but you can move them around you can take them out you can put them in other journals um, on this side is this wonderful little coat hanger clip that holds in this these two cards I'll take this out set it there this uh, tag says you and I, um, and I thought this was a great story of, you know, two folks who look like they've been together for a very long time and have been successful at it. Looks like they might be traveling. Um, and then on the back here is a um, feeling good and just some old vintage um, elements that, that help to make that look older and, um, and more vintage. So again, when you, when you put these in, you can do a couple of things. You can slide this one in here, you can slide this in here, or you can decide that you want to actually put them, you know, somewhere else. The way I had this was I had this little card in here, I had this sitting on the outside, and then I had this little coat hanger clip that was um, holding, it, holding it down, just like this. Oops. Oh, please hold. I know that goes on there easily. There we go. Holds that on there like that. But again, you can move these things around, you know, to any way that you would like. I'm going to move that over here for the time being. I'll leave those in there because I know that's where I want them to stay. So this is a really interesting page and I just really, it just kind of touched me. Um, and when I was going through my books to cut out little things to say, I just wanted them to be just right because for some reason this woman just um, touched my soul 
and I don't know, you know, what the artist had in mind, but um, she seemed sad to me, but uh, at the same time, I, I wanted it to be kind of inspiring. So I've attached this card. It's um, a postcard of a large city. I don't really know what city. Yeah. And then the saying says, she merely went on with life in an unfamiliar silent place far from home. All her dreams would come true. So I'll, although this made me feel a little bit sad when I was looking at it, I feel like it had a happy ending. So anyway, um, again, these stories can relate to something that you might have experienced in your life. And, um, and I hope they touch you as, as they've touched me. Um, this is a, an example of some of my coffee dyed paper. I have these um, little aluminum numbers that I made really rusty to use for other projects. And when I put them in my coffee dye and allowed them to dry on this paper, they just created this really rustic, really interesting texture and interesting look to the paper. So I wanted to share a little bit of that in this journal as well. You won't find a lot of that. And, but I just wanted to have a few examples of, you know, some super rustic. So again, more coffee dyed, lace dyed, stencil dyed paper, old stationery that I thought was just so dainty and pretty. Um, this is a, one of my favorite little pocket pages. I have some cards that I was gifted at one time that are uh, thank you cards that have this theme and I just really love it. I just thought they're, they're um, so beautiful and so interesting in the way that they look like they're made out of wood. Um, and so I made a pocket out of that one and in the pocket I included this lovely card that, um, you know, just has a lot of character and a lot of depth to it, you know, and just could tell a story all on its own. Sometimes things can talk to you with like out even in having any words. I know I find that sometimes. Again, lots of journaling pages, lots of pages to write. Here's a really... Um, nice textured belly band that I constructed out of some paper that I had embossed with these uh, letters and then inked over the letters. As you can see, they, they look very dimensional. They look, um, and they feel great. They just have a great texture. So this includes this little portfolio. It says something good is about to happen. She whispered it softly under the stars really a uh, fun vintage stamped paper when you open this up it has a background here of an old uh, page from a literary digest which i was fortunate enough to find a box of those that date back to the late 1800s um, and i use them quite a bit this also has a, a pocket here that you could add something you know as for an example you could you know, stick little cards uh, in this little pocket down here. I haven't put anything in there, but there's plenty of room to do so. And then this says longing for, and this would be a great opportunity and a great place for you to, you know, just write down all your wishes, all the things that you wish for. And then on the back, it's um, that same pretty stamped, uh, timeless paper, I like to call it. And this one just slips right down into this little slot. I'm going to leave that in there because it does have a space that's designed just for it. Um, this has a little insert here or a little pocket there that's just the paper folded over and attached. And it contains this uh, really pretty postcard that's been embossed on cardstock. And this is actually a photograph that I took with my camera. And then I printed it out and um, put it on this postcard. This is actually the forest behind where I live and I just thought it came out so pretty. It has a stamp over the top and a little um, corner piece that says stories of old. So I thought that was a beautiful postcard. I was happy with the way that came out. Again, lots of blank pages to, for you to do your own thing and make it yours. A beautiful hummingbird pocket um, that has this card, this little key. It says, friends don't let friends wear bad outfits. Thought that was adorable. And these friends are definitely friends because their uh, outfits rock. 
So it has this really pretty lace on the side. It says, I look pretty. And on the back is just an advertisement for an old sewing machine. I'll leave that one out. And this, I liked all the colors. Again, I'm very partial to greens. This is a corner pocket that is sewn with a, with a band. It also has a little pocket here that you could put um, a small something in. Um, and in this pocket, I have attached this uh, little card. It says uh, flowers and garden, has a butterfly on it. And then on the back, it uh, just says style. And it has also some uh, kind of overlapped elements of stamping and so forth. And this can just slide in here. I like to put it where the butterfly will show. And then this is a uh, replica of uh, um, an old tag. It has something to do with bee culture. 1879, October 20th. I love all those. Um, they don't always make sense because, you know, some of the things back then are, are a little foreign to us now. I'm not sure what a bee culture is. Here's more of that butterfly paper. It has some dragonflies, and I just love the glimmery effect of it. So now we're getting into the second signature. This is signature number two. Here's a pocket with a cute little tag. The tag is a, a young girl with butterfly wings and um, some uh, old vintage paper on the back. It says uh, Burdick Sewing Machine, Sears and Roebuck there. And this has a belly band and a pocket, so a couple of things could go in there. Some nice white space, lots of journaling room. Um, some, again, some really pretty um, vellum paper. If you glue a picture on behind the vellum paper, um, it's really great how you're able to see through that. So I like how that kind of makes that look even more vintage. Um, so, you know, if you have your own photographs or your own um, art that you'd like to glue in here, it's great to do so on a page that has vellum. And this is just beautiful. I love this. This is a, a little belly band that I made and embossed out of a piece of cardboard that contains this beautiful vintage hanky. And this can come out. Uh, very easily, but it just holds that little hanky and you know, maybe you have a story I know I have a story about my grandma and her hanky in church and she always folded the program to make herself a little fan But she liked to cry in church and so she always had her little hanky and in fact I have her hanky I have to keep it somewhere outside of my craft room or I might accidentally use it in a journal and then I would be very sad because it's very sentimental and beautiful for me. So again, more coffee dyed, tea dyed paper that just gives it that vintage look. Here's a, f a really pretty little um, uh, pocket uh, with a belly band on it that's uh, glued on of this lovely lady and it has some nice stamping. It contains right now these two little uh, pieces of ephemera, a Southern Oil stores United Profit Sharing Coupon, and also this uh, J. Winnegar and Sons Hardware Company, Buffalo, New York. I'll set those aside. And this is an old piece of vintage lace. You can see that it's fraying and it's definitely yellowed, but I, I, I on purpose wanted to make this kind of wavy here. So I sewed it that way um, with my machine. Um, some old uh, invoice paper. You'll find some really pretty stationery that I've uh, cut some cutouts. Again, some blank pages for you to make your own. You know, you could take a piece of um, paper and scallop it in kind of a half circle and glue it over this page. But I, I wanted, I really wanted to try to give folks an opportunity to experiment and try their own things with some of their journals. Um, I mean, I know I love to make them for people who just want them just as they are, but I would really like to encourage people to explore their own creativity and, and do some things on their own. Um, I really like the way this page came out. This is an old recipe card that I made into a pocket. So it has this inside it, Oklahoma City Public Schools, 
um, September 1914. It's the it's a um, report card for Kirk Lautenbosom, um, Bryant School, signed by the teacher. And then if you turn it over, it says over here. If you turn it over, um, what I've created. Oh, and yeah, this is a flip. So when you turn this over, you turn it over like that. You flip it. And inside here is this great little tablet. It's attached, but you can just take this up and you can use this little tablet and write on it. And then it's very easy to just slip that right back into that little band. And it says she had a feeling. Just another fun little piece that gives you even more journaling space. And this just slides right back into, right down into that pocket. So I'll set that aside. Some smaller pieces of paper give um, that variety of, you know, different um, different sizes and different shapes. And again, a great journaling space. Maybe, maybe you want to write about a, fa a favorite teacher that you once had, or as a teacher, maybe your experiences. More vellum that can go over this really pretty art paper. And again, once again, if you you know, if you glue something on here or you attach something here, it's great on the other side of that vellum um, to see through. Uh, this is what's called a, a snippet. It, it consists of lace and doilies and my own um, elements of dyed paper. It's glued on. The button is sewn onto the glued piece and it also has some old vintage pattern pieces. So. Just again, it brings an element of texture and of color um, and, and that vintage look. Um, this has a cutout here, but I've also glued over the cutout on the other side and that gives it uh, more strength and um, doesn't compromise the structure of that, of that uh, intricate cutout. This is a, a page that has quite a bit going on. It has a tag here, it says Mother Save Your Back. It's uh, about a washing machine. Um, that evidently costs a dollar. And then on the back, it has a uh, journaling space for you to write a story. Maybe you knew um, someone who um, might, you know, fit this story or, um, you know, it's yours to make up your own. This also has a little card in here that is um, a music piece. And on this side, it's doilies, laces and edging. And here you'll find I, that I glued on this lace uh, doily butterfly and th again these pockets can hold whatever you would like them to hold um, you can use your imagination and <clears throat> certainly feel free to move this stuff around this is a cool card with um, language lessons introductory grammar for composition um, and then you turn it over it contains um, a little tablet the little tablet is attached and and this slips down into this kind of lacy pocket here. And then I added just some postage stamps to that. Uh, this is a beautiful page. Uh, um, this is from a book that I found at a, at a um, thrift store that uh, contains samples of people's handwriting from the early um, 1900s and dating back to the 1800s and it analyzes people's handwriting and I felt super fortunate to have found it um, and yes I, I admit that I've that I cut it up I don't make Xerox copies of it so what you're seeing there is the original um, and and I just I love using them for these purposes rather than you know having that book sit in the thrift store it's kind of like that page gets a new life so here's a tag that was an old bingo card that's been punched and it contains a dog tag number. It has this little keep in sight. If you leave your seat, please carry this with you. This must be a ticket for a movie theater. And then this replica of a vintage old postcard that I have put journaling paper on the back and a little thing that says in memory of you know, maybe you want to write a little story about someone that you remember. More journaling page, more vellum page. This is a really fun piece. I, I really had fun making this. So this is a pocket here. And what I did was I cut out all of these old advertisements for 
different gardening things, roses and um, chickens and a garden book and poultry. And I've um, put them on uh, a good backing so that they have a little bit of stability and substance there. And then I stapled them all together. That piece then um, fits perfectly down into this little pocket. And what I like about it is that it can, this is a small piece of paper, so it can stick up over the edge here as well. If you take that out, it says the Literary Digest, which is where I got these um, from, the original magazine. It says J.M. Thornburg and Thornburn and Company. And on the inside, it says Thornburn Seeds, the most reliable seeds. This is also a pocket here, an envelope pocket, which you could put seed packets or uh, you know, anything that you wanted to in there. It has a ticket for a transportation department and a woman florist ever blooming six roses for 25 cents. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? This is really interesting paper with a fun texture, kind of a kind of a shimmery look to it. And I've glued this tab or sewn this tab on of some vintage lace. You don't really see it from this side because I've created this vellum pocket on the other side. And this vellum pocket contains um, yet another tablet. This is a simple little tablet that has the same elements that uh, the, the uh, pocket does. It has lots of writing space for you to, you know, write a story or keep a, a diary of a, sp a specific subject. This is interesting paper with embossed dolphins on it. Um, more of that invoice, coffee dyed paper, some nice white space paper. Again, more uh, art paper that has that vintage uh, romantic Victorian feel to it. Coffee dyed paper that has that crinkly sound, writing paper, white space. Here's a pocket that says, beyond the immense horizon, we are having the time of our lives. And I, I really liked the, that this could tell a story about a travel experience or a, a trip or a vacation or going away somewhere. It has um, this Paris tag. It also has this postcard of being on the beach, the Gulf of Mexico. And then this is a little portfolio that I made. You just untie this, it's uh, attached with a button. It opens from the top. Every April showers come along, every April, April showers come along. It has yet another little tiny book inside it. So if it's raining, so if it's raining. That slips in there. And then this has um, a lot of coffee dyed paper made into this adorable little uh, tablet. And as you can see, um, they have, looks like they're on a train trip going somewhere. And this has a pocket here as well. Um, and again, I didn't have anything in that pocket, but if you had something really small, you could easily slip it into this little corner pocket like that, especially if it was really small. And this just wraps around. And then this little piece right here tucks under there. And I'm going to put that back in here because that is exactly where it goes. Almost done. And then this is a, a really cute window. So these little guys open. Um, and I love these little windows. They, It's almost like you're either they're looking out at you or you're looking out at them. Um, but I love this little picture of this family um, with a dad and his two children and um, and then over here on the other side of the, the little uh, tracing paper or vellum is this little girl. And I don't know if she got lost or, um, or I don't know what the story is, but I just thought it would, um, it would make an interesting story. So I wanted to keep her. She was actually over here in the photograph, but because I had to cut her out, I wanted to use her somewhere else. And I just, I loved putting her here because it just kind of... Uh, Again, created an element of mystery that a story could be created. So moving on here, we have um, this page here. This is a thick page. For a moment, I thought it was two, but it's not. Um, so this is the, the back page, and it has a pocket that holds quite a few things. And this pocket is adorned with a sewn-on piece of very vintage lace. 
a very vintage doily here. And um, so I love when you use this vintage lace and doily too, because when you're looking at the side, uh, it hangs over and just creates that really pretty vintage look. So on this last page, these are the tags that I in here, uh, inserted here. This says best trip with some really pretty flowers. And this is kind of an interesting dark lady. I don't know. She, um, she has like vines growing on her face and there's something about it that is just kind of creepy, but I decided to leave it in anyway. Um, you never know. You might have a story to tell about a creepy lady. Um, but, um, I also added this little sword there that uh, separates the two lacy feminine from kind of the dark side. So um, anyway, I hope that uh, you find a good use for those. This is the end page. Again, it's a sewn in signature, two signatures. It's very sturdy, um, very well made. This is the back of the journal. And again, the side, which um, is very vintage material and again the front so i hope that you've enjoyed watching this video i'm sorry it was so long there were a lot of things to see but if you would like to see more pictures or if you'd like to make this your own uh, it's for sale on our itsy shop which is www.we'rejusttwosisters.itsy.com and that's we're just two sisters with the number two itsy.com so check it out there's a lot of other things and again this is a uh, number three in the series of four african-american journals that will be posted on our itsy store so thanks again have a wonderful day and i appreciate you very much